So it's mid-March, it's still fairly cold, but with these extra daylight hours, hopefully these carp are gonna be waking up and having a feed. So with that in mind, James at East Elf Lakes has kindly invited us down to Fisher's Complex. I've never been here before, but I've seen on YouTube, it looks absolutely mega. There's three lakes in total, Front Lake, Back Lake, and Long Lake. And fortunately for us, we have access to all three. So I'm gonna be fishing off the barrow, trying to find any signs of any feeding fish across the whole complex. And I'm pretty sure we'll jump on a few feeding fish and catch a few through the camera. So with that in mind, I think it's time to cue that sick slow motion B-roll and we'll get to it. So basically, I've had a walk around the lake. Um, I've walked around there and I saw a little bit of activity over there, but to be fair, I've seen more activity just down here and out in this middle bowl as well. So I think that's it. I think I'm just gonna start here. Joys of just being mobile is I can give it an hour here if I don't see anything or if I see fish showing over there, I'll just go from there. Happy days. Right, so basically we've been here for about 35, 40 minutes. Haven't really seen a great deal after the first shows that we've seen. So got this rod in, I'm gonna skip that rod in. I'm gonna head over there. Well, there we go, first take of the day. I was down there in the corner actually, just seeing if I could um, spot any fish and I had a drop back on this rod, but there's definitely a fish on. And uh, it's my first East Delft Lake carp. So hopefully I can get this one in and we'll show you a carp. She just popped up in front of the net, so I thought, why not? <laughs> Happy days, it's a star net. Yeah. 
Well, he is absolutely nailed. Middle, the bottom lip. And that's how you want him with the Ronnies. And that, well, is First Blood. East Delft Lakes, Back Lake. I'm not gonna weigh him. He's not 20 pounds, but that's a great start. And if I'm honest, I'm fairly chuffed with that. If I get another one or two, even better. Catching your first fish from a new venue is always pleasing, but what also is really important, as soon as that fish is in the net, is to get a fresh rig on, like I did just there, put a fresh rig on and get it back out on the spot, because you just don't know how much of a time window you've got to get your next bite. Also, I've rounded in the other rod because I want to match the same presentation I just caught that one on. So I fished that quite close to the island with a yellow pop-up, and that's what I've got on here. So it's a perfect opportunity to show you how I'm fishing and what I'm fishing with. And it's nothing new. Everyone's seen it before. Everyone's using it. It's a runny rig. But I'm fishing mine on a helicopter style here. And uh, one thing worth mentioning is East Delft Lakes does have a leader band, so I'm fishing it pretty much naked style, straight on the mono there like that. So that is a deadly rig, specially fished helicopter style, doesn't tangle. It's an awesome rig and catches lots of carp. So I'm gonna get this one out and hopefully get another one. Well, that's the importance of getting that rod straight back out because you literally don't know when your next take could be. And James, the owner's just popped round and we're just having a chat about the fishery and uh, it's just ripped off. So well chuffed with that. Hopefully we can get it in the net and show you another one of these cool East Delft carp. Well, there we go. Second bite of the day and second fish on the bank. He's not massive by any means, and he's lively, as you can tell by my top. I've tried picking him up a couple of times, but East Elf Lakes, though, is renowned for his scaly bangers. He's not quite a scaly banger, but he's more than welcome in a March day's fishing. So we'll get him back, and if I'm honest, I want one of those scaly ones next. So since that second fish, weather conditions have completely changed. We got here and it was southwesterly. It was actually quite nice. Now the wind has completely switched and it's a northerly. To top that, the sun has come out as well. I'm not sure if it's great fishing conditions or not, but we'll see. One thing I'd like to mention and that is location. So coming to a new venue like we have today, location is 100% key. Like always, we got down, we did see a few fish over there, but we did see more fish over this side. So we quickly upsticked and we came round here. So as we've proved, two fish from the same spot within an hour goes to prove that the location was right. Not sure if the fish are there still now because of the change in weather, but I will have a little look around and if I do see other things, I will move on it. Another key thing is bait. And this time of year, high-vis sort of singles, 
does do well. In here I've got all the bright colours in two different sizes and that is definitely an edge when it comes down to this time of year. I have fished those singles but the rod I did catch on did have probably a handful of baits around and when I say a handful I mean five baits. I haven't gone crazy, I know I've got a lot in here because you never know what you're going to deal with when you get here but I have been soaking these for a good 24 hours in water and my favourite liquid and that just makes them so soft and that is definitely an edge when it comes to the colder waters. So a handful of those with the right rig and right pop-up definitely is a winner this time of year. So with that in mind I've got about an hour, hour and a half left of fishing. I'm not sure if I'm going to move unless I see a definite sign but if not I'll stay put. I can't really complain though, two fish, day sesh, lake I've never been to, that's pretty good going but I'm not going to lie I would like one more fish and I'd like to be one of those scaly ones that East Elf Lake is actually famous for so hopefully one of those will come along but if it doesn't I've had a great day and I'll be back for sure. I wasn't going to move unless I saw something and even though I was kind of happy over there I came around here to have a little look because it just feels nicer the sun's beating down here it just generally just feels warmer and I came around and behold Carps put his head out so I've got the rods the is all packed up I've just got the rods on the deck and we'll see if we can get a fish I reckon we might you know minutes to go and it's gone and I did feel confident around here as I said it was it was a lot warmer and there was definitely a few fish here because I saw I saw them not out and uh, this goes to prove again location is key because we literally had 15 minutes and we've got a fish and it's pretty much ready for your netting so let's get this one in come on listen Well, there we go there's that fish from the last 15 minutes move and as i said a minute ago location is key and this goes to prove it's not the scaly one i was hoping for but it is free fish in a day session and i literally can't complain of that i'm over the moon i'll get this one sit back because we really do need to get on the road <laughs> 